Welcome to the William A. Irvin Haunted Ship 2016. What the government won't tell you is the theme this year. So we're sitting around at this beautifully decorated table. Uh, we've got some rotting uh, corpses. We have some blood, lots of nice scents in here. And so I'm with uh, the behind the scenes crew. I, I wanted to give these guys some props and there's many other people not joining us right now. So why don't you guys introduce yourselves and then say what you do here at the Irvin. I'm Steve Rankula and I'm the operations uh, project manager at the deck. And uh, the Irvin is part of my job and the haunted ship is, is a part of my job and something we enjoy creating every year. Absolutely. Uh, my name is John Clark. I do a little bit of this and that. Um, normally I work over at the deck, but during the haunted tour season I get to come over here and help build everything. And that's quite the job, because I know, John, we've talked to you before in the past, and when do you guys start planning for the ships? A yeah, couple weeks after it's done. A couple weeks after, so like in November, yeah. you guys start planning? So you guys just all kind of sit down go over what worked, what didn't work, and uh, do you go on like websites of like other haunted houses to like get ideas and themes? I mean, how do you get, you guys always have really cool themes over here. I, I think a big part of what we do here is it's competition to ourself. Right. We get together, uh, John's very creative on ideas and things, and some of it we research, some of it's haunts we've been to before. We actually toured the Midwest Haunting Convention, John and I have both have been there and gone through different haunts and got ideas and some of us, we search on the internet. We get very creative and maybe dysfunctional when we when we create part of the hot. <laughs> and it's, it's become a year round. A year year round, we do it. We sit down, even as the haunt is open right now. We get we get together and we say, "Hulk, did you hear that?" I did hear that, and we're the only people on the ship. So. And as everyone says, the the William A. Irvin is haunted. There's things that walk around. There's noises. People have seen the little the little girl in the white dress. People have seen the energy flying through the air. It's it's haunted, and that's something. It's nice for us to work on the haunt year round um, as a as part time. But we we get creative even during the haunt. We thought we talk about what what's working, what's not working. What can we do next year? So we're we basically do it year round. Where do you guys get all the stuff? I mean, obviously a ship of this size and magnitude lots of different rooms lots of little nooks and crannies and i mean i'm here every year and you, it's completely different every year i mean obviously you recycle some of the props but where where do you get some of this ghoulish stuff i mean i mean the main place we go to is uh, freight props they're actually based out of the cities and we've met with them a couple times they're actually all of our animatronics the controllers for them come from freight props and they are stupid simple to use a lot of the bodies we get from them, there's a few other companies that, I, you, go Google it, there's places that sell it. It's amazing how over the years, how many things we've accumulated. We actually uh, went down and purchased a haunt in Chicago. We found, we found this haunt that went out of business and they had truckloads of different things. We, got, we had the choice of going down and picking body parts, picking, <laughs> picking uh, walls and, and pneumatics and things like that. So some of we picked up from there, some we will buy from a thrift shop. Some of we buy from the internet, um, Fright Props, other different companies, and it's weird buying, you're buying body parts and, and uh, very <laughs> weird things. And hoping you don't it get is. pulled over coming back to Duluth with yeah. a trunk full of feet or whatever you guys got. It's, it's always fun over at the deck opening up a box and going, oh, look what I got! And then look at other people's faces like, why the hell are you showing this to me? <laughs> it's super weird. Awesome. We change it up every single year. Like I said earlier, it's a competition to us too. Right. We, we get dysfunctional. It's one thing we do very well during this hunt. We, we find what, new ways to scare people. <laughs> we get very creative. We get, we get into a room with just a, a handful of people and we, we, start, we start planning. We put it on paper. Yeah. We change it 10 times. We decide what's going to be in the room, what it's going to look like, how we're going to scare people, how many actors will be in the room. You know, right, and then right. we, we might just tweak it from here to here. We'll build the room and kind of change it, tweak it, figure out, is it working? Right. Is that dark room working? Is the two actors, is it perfect? We also incorporate everything from, from all senses, from the lights to the sounds to the smell. As you're sitting in this room right now, you, you know we have dead, decaying smell in this room. It's... Try not to think about it, but I'm with that door open because I probably, <laughs> probably not feel as comfortable. And but, this year we're starting to push more and more and more of the touch sense where there's things everywhere that you have to walk through right and people do not like being touched but let's talk about some of the 
the supernatural things that you guys really don't have any control over and are just kind of part of the ship? What's some things that have happened to you guys? If, you know, we're on here all the time and we'll walk through the boat. We may be by ourselves, and we know we're on the boat by ourselves. And all of a sudden, you're, we'll be down in the engine room checking things out, making sure things are, are, are secure. And all of a sudden, you'll hear the footsteps. You'll hear the doors opening and closing. I've actually personally have walked down this hallway and got a flash of, and everyone says you're, you're scared of the little the girl in the little white dress. Yeah. I, I visually, I saw the girl in the little white dress and it happened a glimpse of just a, a half a second. I saw her, I backed up, looked, I walked down the hallway. I thought, what is that? Is, is John playing a joke on me? Right. And no, it's, I, I saw her and all of a sudden you hear these footsteps. I'll come on here in the middle of the winter time, making sure things are secure and I'll hear things, doors closing. I'll run outside thinking that someone's outside. There's no foot, foot tracks in the snow. There's nothing. There's, the boat is haunted. It's truly haunted. There's, there's, there's a lot of energy on here. Wow. And that's one of those things coming on here in the middle of winter. You know you're the only person on because you had to chip that door open. Like, we get a good layer of ice in front of that thing, and you're up there for a while trying to get in. Right. You get on, and some days it's just fine. You can be walking around, no problem. Some days it's just, nope, I'm not wanted. I'm leaving now. Actually, when we first started here, um, we thought we uh, one of our guys just down the way a little bit saw he saw Steve walk past, and everything else is locked back here. I mean, there's only the door we came in, so we yeah. split up looking for the person. No one to be found. <laughs> there's a ghost out here that looks like you. That's great. Thanks. 